before opening After Effects, first you have to install a free plugin by Video Copilot. Open a browser, then search in Google Saber plugin. Open this first link. Then simply download and install it. Here select your After Effects installed version. Our installation complete. Now open After Effects. Then create a new composition. Let's call it, Cinematic Lighting Animation. 1920 by 1080 resolution. This time I'm using this frame rate 24 per second, for film look. And duration 10 seconds. Now create a new solid. Let's call it background. Here I'm using dark light color. Let's duplicate it. And rename it particles. Go to effects and presets. And search here. CC particle systems 2. Apply it on the particle layer. Go to the few frames forward. Then you can see this particle. Place this center point, something like this. Now open producer. Change the radius X to 100. And radius Y is also 100. Open physics, change animation, explosive to direction. And change velocity 0.5. Gravity 0. Open particle, change particle type faded sphere. Birth size 0.1 and death size 0.1 also. Change birth color some orange color, so they look like fire particles. Now change the birth rate to 2. Run preview this, and see if you are happy with it. Now I'm going to import my logo. It's too big, let's make it small by scale. Right click on logo layer and pre-compose it. Let's call it Logo Comp. And make sure to select this option. Now go to the layer, and select Auto Trace. And this option will select a mask around our logo. Please use same as my settings. And uncheck Apply to New Layer. You can check the mask preview. And you can see your mask by clicking this icon. Now go to the effects and presets. And search for Saber. Apply it on the logo comp layer. Select the preset arc reactor. And you can change the glow color. Here I'm using orange color. Now open the customized core. Change the core type to layer mask. Go to the first frame and make end offset value to 0%. Add a keyframe on it. Now go to around 2 seconds. And change the offset value to 50%. Now your animation will look like this. Now open the render settings. And change the composite settings to transparent. Now duplicate the logo layer and change the preset type to kryptonite. Let's change the glow color. I'm using blue color for this. You are free to choose your own color. Now change the mask evolution to minus 180 degrees so that it will cover up my entire logo. I can't see details on my logo. Let's fix it. Open distortion, then open core distortion and change the distortion amount to 7. Now change the core size to 1. Now I can see some detail in my logo. Now we are making our logo revel effect. It's very easy to do. Let's again duplicate of the logo layer. 
and delete the saver plugin from it. Now go to the effects and presets. And search for the Venetian blinds. Double click on it for apply it on the layer. Click on the transition stopwatch icon. And now we can use this transition to rebel our logo. Make width size 10. And change the direction to 45 degree. Make transition completion 0. Go to 2 seconds. Click on the transition stopwatch icon and make it 100%. Go to the 3 seconds. Then change the transition completion 0%. Now the logo transition will look like this. Now go to the 2 second. Select the bottom layer. And add a keyframe on the core size. Do the same with bottom layer. Add a keyframe on core size. Switch back to 3 seconds. Now set the core size to 0. Do the same with the top layer as well. Now let's see the preview. Cool, this looks good to me. Now let's add a zoom out effect on it. Select the 3 logo comp and pre-compose. Let's call it logo animation. And make sure to select this option. Go to the 3 seconds and make a keyframe, scale and rotation. Go to the first frame and set the scale size 250% and change the rotation minus 45 degree if you play your animation it will look like this now select all keyframes right click on a keyframe now go to keyframe assistant then select easy ease also add motion blur to this layer if you don't see the motion blur option press F4 then enable motion blur on this layer. Now let's a quick look. Cool, this is our last step. Create a new solid layer. Let's call it film bar. Here use black color. Go to the effects and presets. Search for CC Jaws, apply it on the film bar layer. Now change the height to 0% and change the completion to 75%. Now our animation is complete. I think my logo size too big, make it smaller. Okay, now it looks pretty. I'll see you in the next one, have a good day.